when someone asked me to make a traditional Christmas ornament with a reindeer and some trees, I could not decide if I would make it with a laser cutter or a CNC router. So I did both. For this project I went to my local makerspace, the Kaasfabriek, in Alkmaar, the Netherlands, where they have both a laser cutter and a large CNC router. I made these ornaments from 3mm birch plywood. Preparing the CNC router takes a bit more time than the laser cutter. Main reason for that is the router bit, in this case 3mm, had to be clamped into the router and calibrated for the height. Also, fastening the plywood to the table takes some time. I made the drawing in Rhino and converted it into a DXF file format. Although both machines are using the same file, the software of these machines is different and you can see this in the sequence both machines are cutting the lines. For both machines I use the same cutting speed, but as you can see the laser cutter is the first that is ready. Reason for that is the faster travel speed to the starting points of the various lines. The cut parts from the laser cutter are easy to remove from the base material, whereas the cut parts from the CNC router are held in the base material with some tabs. These had to be cut with a handsaw in order to free them from the base material. Now the assembling can start by sanding, oiling and gluing the parts together and then fitting some LED lights onto it. Although it seems that this process of sanding is the same for both ornaments, the one from the CNC router took about twice the time. This was because the edge had to be sanded as well. Now the big question, which one is better? The ornament from the laser cutter is fast to make and takes less electricity to produce. But it has a typical black burnt edge, which is hard to remove. So you have to like that, and that's personal, otherwise the one from the CNC router is the better choice. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know what you think. In the meantime, I'm planning for some changes that will happen in 2020 about the new location for the Makerspace. I want to document this move so I can show you the progress on this channel. For now, I wish you a happy holiday and all the best for the new year.